ever there was a misnomer, it's the phrase, pull the trigger. You don't pull triggers. You don't actually even squeeze them when it comes to precision objects like these. Precharged pneumatic or high-end air gun rifle triggers. You don't even squeeze these, you actually press them. They're more like buttons than anything else. But there's a right and a wrong way to do it. And there's no point in building a beautiful precise unit like this and then yanking it because what you're doing actually is you're using it as the, the sort of declaration that the aiming process is over. You've held it, you've held it and you go to get it over and done with. Entirely wrong. For a start, use that, just the tip, the tip of the pad. Don't wrap your finger around the trigger, there's no need, you don't need purchase or anything like that. And with trig trigger technique comes follow through. Look elsewhere for a little video on that on its own. But all you need to do is not mess up everything that this rifle, scope, pellets and your talent has programmed into the shot. One great tip for you. If you're worried about your trigger technique, take the first stage up gently and when the shot's released, keep the trigger back until you see the pellet land. It helps with trigger technique and follow through. And those two things are linked beyond anything most people know. Just take the first stage up and then hold the trigger back. Don't let it go forward until you've seen the pellet home. Things will improve, I promise you.